Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. This week I wanted to talk about delay throws. This is kind of a beginner thing, maybe beginner to intermediate. Uh, anyways, I've got a track and I'm going to show you how to automate some delay throws on a vocal. And this is what the track sounds like. Okay, so if you notice, we've got a couple here falling in. Alright, and we've got one on gravity here. Okay, as far as the, the delay goes, this is a half note delay, and I'm using Echo Boy. Tempo is really important. This thing is synced up to the tempo of my session, which is 102 beats per minute. 102 beats per minute. I've got some filtering on Echo Boy going on, some high cut and low cut, mix is wet. Feedback is set to where I only want, I want one really audible repeat and then I want one that's kind of tucked back a little. Uh, so that's feedback you'll kind of have to play with depending on your track. Um, saturation's maxed out, groove feel straight up the middle. Okay, so that's Echo Boy. Now the trick to grabbing only specific words there's a, and there's a couple different ways to do this uh, I automate it I automate a send so I've got this send over here these vocal tracks are they're heading into um, this Vox main this yellow bus up here I've got a delay going to our half note delay here so if you pull up and I do it via mute so I'll switch over to mute and you can see how it's I'll start off with the send muted, and then I just grab the chucks I want and unmute it. So if you notice, like we're gonna grab these two words. Just to hear it a little better, just do solo some stuff. But I can't help falling in. I'm fighting, fighting gravity. Oh, gravity. Cool, right? Pretty easy. Now you can set up any kind of half note delay, you can use stock delays or whatever. I like Echo Boy because you get some different options. A couple other things to consider would be the level of your send. Um, I do automate a little bit, as you notice. Now you could either automate the actual aux that the half note's on, which is totally a feasible way to do it, but I'll automate how much goes into it. Uh, so like right here, you can see I duck it out. I can't escape. I'm fighting gravity. And there you go. That is delay throws. You can do this on guitars, drums, vocals, anything really. Anything you want to, you know, throw a part over. Uh, again, this is one way to do it. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, let's check it out. Here's just the whole track, and you can listen to it uh, and all the parts. The place. And those are delay throws, man. They're really simple. Um, again, this is one way to do it. There's a lot of different ways. You can copy the chunks over to another track, 
put the delay directly on them. A lot of guys like to work a lot of different ways. This is how I do it. If you want to know more about effects as far as delays, reverbs, I've got a new premium tutorial coming out later this week, probably Wednesday or Thursday. I just need to do some editing on it. Um, and I'll go into, as you can see on this half note delay, I've got EQ, compression, some imaging going on. Um, it's going to be, over this session, it's going to be everything effects. So reverbs, delays, riding levels, um, doing throws like this. Uh, we're going to talk about drum sounds, drum ambience, uh, halls, plates, room reverbs, anything and everything. So if you want to know more about that, check that out. Come back to the website. And that's that, guys. Uh, really simple stuff. Like the video. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Uh, like us on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, we're almost at 5,000 subscribers. I've got a mixing contest in the works with a really cool prize coming up. I think people are going to like. And, yeah, so keep coming back. And we will see you in the next video later.